Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Are you ready to start our lesson? Let's, let's get started. Remember, today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, and our schedule is slightly different. We have a language arts video from 9 to 9.45. You have a PE video from 9.45 to 10.45. Then you'll do live PE at 11.30 to 12.30. 12.30 to 1.30 you have math, and from 1 to 2.35 you will work on Seesaw and iReady assignments. Go ahead and stand up for our, our flag salute. Ready? Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Remember your rules when you are on Zoom, whether you're with Mr. Velasco, Mrs. Melanie and I, or you're with your PE teacher. Please be respectful responsible, and safe students. Remember, we're talking about self-motivation. So think about, how do you feel right now? Do you feel scared, shy, curious, brave, or confident? Remember, friends, you can do anything. Tired of standing over. Stop giving up. Here's the deal. I can do anything, be anything, create anything, dream anything, become anything. My dad always says, you are what you do, not what you say. Well, you grown up say you love us, but I challenge you, please, make your actions reflect your words. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. If you don't, you start to keep practicing. I like my pajamas. I like my stuff. I like my rooms. I like my whole house. My whole house is great. I can do anything good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want everything to be good as possible. Nothing else. You better not give up on us. No, you better not. Because, as you know, in some cases, you're all we've got. And if I can be nice, I think all of us can be nice too. This is your time. Now go up there and take it. So this is our time to show what we can do and be brave and confident students going into today. Go ahead and get your materials out. You'll need your literature anthology, your decodable, and your whiteboard materials. Schedule. A schedule is a timetable showing when things will happen. According to the bus schedule, the last bus leaves at midnight. Hmm. Take a second and think. According to our school schedule, what do we do after lunch? Hmm. We have a schedule on Class Dojo. What do we do after lunch? That's right. You have Zoom with your PE teacher and with Mr. Velasco and I. Calendar. A calendar is a chart that shows the days, weeks, and months in a year. My mom uses a calendar to remember important dates and times. How do we use a calendar? Well, we know when we are in class because on our calendar with Mr. Velasco, the red days means we do not have school. Okay, are you ready? I can listen to the sounds and the words. I have the word 
ape, ape. And I can add a k sound in front. What would my new word be? Cape, excellent. I have the word ape. Now I'm adding the sh sound before. What's my new word? Shape, excellent. Ooh, this is a tough one. I have the word late. I add the p sound at the beginning of late. What do I get? Plate, excellent. I have an ace, ace, and I'm adding a r at the beginning. What is my new word? Race. Excellent job. Okay. I have aid. Aid. And I'm going to add the sound at the beginning. What's my new word? Fade. Wonderful. I have the word aim. And I add the n sound at the beginning of aim. What's my new word? Name. Great work. Okay. I have ache. Like I have a stomach ache. And I'm going to add the m sound at the beginning of ache. What is my new word when I add m? Mm? Excellent. Make. I like to make snowmen. I have the word take. Take. Will you take my picture? And I'm going to add the s sound at the beginning of take. This is a tricky one. What's my new word? Steak. Wow, way to go. You are awesome. Let's try this one. I have age. Age. And I add a p at the beginning of age. Do you have it? Page. Okay, last one. I have ace. Ace. And I'm going to add the f sound at the beginning of ace. What's my new word? Face. Way to go! You can add sounds to make new words. Are you ready to play the game with me? Let's see. You're going to make the sounds when it comes on the screen. Mp. Pull. Nt. W. Sk. E. Ch. Nk. Tr. Full. A. It's our magic E. A. 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 Sn. A. A. Cur.
That's right, friends. We are learning the long A words like ape, gave, same. We all think it, think the long, we can thank the magic E for making our A say the long vowel sound. Oh, Mrs. Ciccarelli. Discover the magic power of E. Be amazed by the heroic E as it gives all its strength to weak vowels, leaving nothing left for itself. It's an ordinary day for E when... <laughs> this weak little vowel can only make a weak sound. <laughs> What's this? T is closing in the vowel, making it weak. <laughs> that weak vowel needs power. This is a job for Magic E. The Magic E goes to the end of the word. It sends all its power to the vowel. Now the strong vowel says its name. A. Hate. But E has no power left to make a sound. Later that day, more weak vowel sounds that need my power. I, pin, a, uh, cub. E to the rescue! I, pine. U, cube. Please remember the heroic sacrifice of the magic E. It makes no sound. All its power is gone to make the vowel strong enough to say its name. And that's the story of Magic E. Great job, friends. Let's see if we can read some long A words. All thankful for the Magic E. Ready? Late. Whale. I hope you're reading, friends. Snake. Tape. Game. Cane. Tail. Skate. Excellent work. Now take out that whiteboard. It's time for you to spell your spelling words. Ready? Make. Write the word make. Pause the video after I say the word so you can have the time to write the word. Make. M-A-K-E. Take. Take. T A K E. Came. Came. C A M E. Game. Game. G A M E. Gate. Gate. G A T E. Late. Late. L A T E. Okay, some review words. Chin. Chin. C H I N. Graph, graph, G-R-A-P-H. Now two of our words to know this week. Some, would you like some gum? Some, 
S O M E. And today, today, T O D A Y. Great work, friends! Woohoo! That's right, we have our high frequency words, our words to know that we need to be able to write and read. Away, do all the birds fly away and fall? Now, it's time for us to eat now. Some, some kids like to wear a watch. Today, it is my birthday today. Way, a clock is one way to tell time. Why, why is the summer a fun season? Pause the video here and try and make a sentence using the word way. Tell it to a partner. Great work! I can't wait to hear your sentences. Go ahead and take out your decodable reader and you're gonna set a two minute timer. Pause the video here. You are going to read the story. Is it late? Excellent job. Now we're going to review. Remember friends, we've learned about contractions. A contraction is a, a contraction is a shorter version of two words that are put together. Remember that apostrophe replaces some of the letters. This is the contraction rhyme. I say contractions all the time. Take two words and make them one. Contractions can be lots of fun. It's not that hard. I'll show you how. Let's learn about contractions now. When I say I am, you say I'm. I am. I am. When I say it is, you say it. It is. It is. When I say you are, you say your. You are. You are. This is the contraction rhyme. I say contractions all the time. Take two words and make them one. Contractions can be lots of fun. It's not that hard. I'll show you how. Let's learn about contractions now. Excellent. Remember, a contraction is when you put two words like did and not together. But just like in our other video, you squash it. You're going to squash it, the O in not. Combine the words and replace it with the apostrophe. I did not see you. I didn't see you. We're going to be practicing this skill all week long. Also, remember, a verb is an action word. We're going to act out all of these verbs. Ready? Smile. Write. Stand. Now sit. Laugh. <laughs> Eat. And sleep. Pause the video here. Which word is the verb for number one? Pam. Cat or sit? You're right, it's sit. What about number two? Runs, red, or pup? Which is my action word, my verb? Runs. Number three, not hops, Sam. Hops. Number four, Kick, fun, ball. Kick, that is the action. Number five, me, Blake, smile. Which word is a verb? Smile, it's something you do. A verb is an action word, something that you do. Okay, take out your literature anthology and turn to page six. Follow along as I read the story on my way to school. 
listen very carefully because you have an assignment in Seesaw with this story. So please pay attention. On my way to school today, a pig asks me to come and play. It's not just a pig, it's a pig in a wig. We run for the bus, just the two of us. Oh friends, it's a rhyming story. Pig and I run fast, fast, fast. We get on the bus at last. Huff, puff, the buzz zips away. Pig makes me late for school today. On my way to school, we pass a trash truck that ran out of gas. On top of that truck sit two apes and a duck. How bizarre. Apes and a duck hop in the bus. They sit down with the rest of us. Slip, flip, the bus zips away. Apes make me late for school today. On my way to school, I see some frogs in a gumdrop tree. Blip, plop, the gumdrops drop. Two frogs cut, two frogs mop. Frogs hop in the bus. They sit down with the rest of us. Hip hop, the bus zips away. Frogs make me late for school today. Here we go, just one last stops. Frogs hop in the lake. Blip, blop. Duck is off to get some gas. Apes fish and nap in the grass. Tick tock, the bus zips away. It looks like I am late today. Now the bus drops me off at school. I see a crocodile slink out of a pool. I think it slid under the gate, and that, Miss Blake, is why I'm late. So I want you to think about retelling what happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end of our story on my way to school. In Seesaw, you have Tuesday assignments. And one of those assignments in one of the slides, there are four slides, is a beginning, middle, and end response to this story. So keep your literature anthology out when you're doing your Seesaw assignments today, friends. I'll see you later for math. Bye, friends.